Today, I'm here to save your GPU from AI. Trust me, AI is killing your GPU and you need to know about this program. So this is a program called MSI Afterburner. This is actually a really popular program and there is a chance you already know about this. Using this, you can overclock your GPU, underclock your GPU, basically, you can tune your GPU however you want. And you can also monitor the performance and everything. This is actually a cool program. Now these days, you have to have this program on your system. So the thing is, everyone knows that AI is taking over. Every single program is coming with some kind of AI in it. Like for example, I have this really cool and actually useful AI program called Upscale. Using this, you can upscale images. So if you have a old images that are in like 720p or something, you can enhance and upscale them using this for free. But the thing is, it's gonna use my GPU power at 100%, depending on the image and the settings that I have selected, like how much I wanna upscale. And you can also batch upscale, which means you can select multiple images and do the batch upscale, which will run my GPU at 100% for a longer period. And this is just one example and actually useful program that I actually use every now and then. So there are many other types of AI that you can run locally like video enhancer and upscaler. You might be a dev, maybe running some kind of local AI to help with your coding, or maybe if you're a game dev, you are running some kind of AI generator to generate something for your game or app or something. All these AI things that run locally on your system make your GPU cry. I'm not gonna say I have a bad system i actually have a decent computer i have i7 9th gen rtx 2070 gpu uh, 32 gigs of ram a decent ssd it's actually a pretty good system i can game on it i can run virtual machines but when it comes to ai yeah it's not the best system but for smaller ai tasks it is okay maybe generating a couple of images in low resolution and maybe also upscaling and enhancing a couple of images at a time. It's, it's pretty good, okay? It, it, it can handle that. But if you want to run AI locally constantly, stresses your GPU. This is not a bad system. This is actually pretty good. But when it comes to AI thingies, it's not the best computer, okay? You'll need a relatively new, like almost year old, computer to run AI smoothly on the system. But out of curiosity or for actual good reasons, like for example, this thingy, we, we like to run AI, at least I run AI uh, on my system and it uses my GPU power. So the other day I was actually using a very, you know, GPU intensive AI on my system and it was actually crashing my system because it was overpowering my GPU, okay? But I needed to run that program at least for 10 to 15 minutes constantly. And my GPU was just crying. It wasn't happening. So I did something very clever. I don't know if you can call it clever or what, but this is actually pretty clever. I downloaded this program, MSI Afterburner, and I limit the power of my GPU, which also dropped the uh, the temperature limit by default it sits at 100% you can go above that but I don't recommend that unless you're trying to overclock your GPU so what I did was actually I limited my GPU's power to 90 and uh, and also tried 80 and actually went 72 I tested it multiple times and then I ran that AI locally and it worked I actually continuously ran that program for 10 to 15 minutes and my GPU wasn't crying and whatever I was trying to do, I did it. It was successful. So if you have a decent computer like me and you want to run AI locally for whatever reason, you should underclock or limit the power of your GPU. This will trust me save your gpu from dying basically what's gonna happen is like 
I'm pretty sure most of you guys know this. Running AI locally requires a powerful system, at least the powerful GPU, if you don't have a AI accelerator built into the system. Like for example, if we buy a latest Intel CPUs, they have something called NPUs, uh, the AI accelerator built into it. This is a thing that handles all the AI work and your CPU and GPU doesn't get stressed. Even Nvidia has it, okay? on their latest uh, GPUs. But the problem is not everyone can afford a brand new system and they are super expensive. Like I said, I have a pretty decent computer, okay? For almost anything except AI. And I don't regularly use AI, only occasionally for some actual useful things or for some tutorials. Other than that, yeah, my system is pretty good okay i don't want to upgrade it let's just say i can't afford it okay let's be honest here if i if it was possible for me to get the <laughs> new ai powered system i would love to get it but let's just say i can't afford it okay who doesn't like the new stuff everybody likes it but yeah this is a pretty decent computer still okay i can do everything but sometimes i like to run ai and i have noticed that ai uses 100 percent of the gpu power so instead of letting ai use my full gpu power i cap it so it's gonna use however like for example i'm gonna set it to 90 percent so it's not gonna go past 90 percent and your uh, gpu will get less stressed or less hot yeah i have tested this and it works really well maybe there is going to be one or two minutes differences in ai processing but other than that yeah, my GPU stays cool. It doesn't cry. Again, as I said, almost every type of AI that you run locally uses 100% of the GPU power if you have a system like me. If you want to run AI locally or have some pretty cool program that uses AI, like for example, this one, like you do batch upscale images, like it's gonna constantly run the uh, GPU at 100%, please limit your GPU power and it's still gonna work for AI processing, okay? Let me actually give you guys a demo. Okay, I'm gonna use this image here. I'm gonna upscale it to 5X. And here, check this out. I have limited my GPU power, okay, to 90%. And now, actually let's do, I'm scared. Let's actually drop it to 85, maybe 80, why not? Yeah, let's do 80. And let's save it. Hope it doesn't interrupt my recording. Apply. Okay, it didn't interrupt my recording. Okay. Now, check this out. Okay. I'm going to run it. And this is the GPU. Already using it at 20% because it needs to display the, uh, what do you call it? The monitor thingy and all that. And also I'm recording. So it's already at 20% usage. Now, I'm going to run this AI. And I'm going to upscale this image by 5x, five times, okay? So let's run it and keep eye on the GPU one, okay? Is it? Oh, yeah, you can see here, it it is trying to use 100% of the GPU power. And you can see it can't use it. <laughs> it can't use it because I have capped it to 80%. But it's sometime it's going above 80% because there is also a temperature rule. Okay, you can see it's constantly using the GPU and my PC is still quiet. Okay, and the thing is, this thing is still working. And it's, I'm doing a 5x upscale, which is a huge amount for a GPU to use. Okay, so you can see here, it's successful, you can see. I successfully upscaled the image and uh, you can see my GPU was being used at 100% but we actually capped the power limit to 80 so it couldn't use it at 100% and my GPU didn't cry and whatever I was trying to do successfully happened. This is a upscaled image. Can I go into file info? And here you can see the resolution. It was 1024 by 1024. And now it's 5120 by 5120. This is just an example. Okay, there are different types of AI. Even running LLM requires uh, 
the GPU power if you don't have the brand new computers which are meant to run AI locally or has AI acceleration built in. All I'm trying to say here is that save your GPU by using the MSI Afterburner. So whenever you're using AI, just cap the power to 80 to 90 percent and your GPU will trust me not cry and whatever you're trying to do with the AI will also succeed. It might take a little bit longer than usual but it will work plus your GPU will not cry. Now this program is again really popular. People use this to overclock and underclock the GPU. So before doing anything like underclocking or overclocking, changing the clocks, memory clock or core clock, do some research. Do not blindly use this. But this thing power limit is actually safe to use. Don't go too low, don't go too high. Just use your brain how much is okay. I know you guys are smart. So before you tinker with this thing, you want to go deeper, please do some research and then go deeper. Yeah, that's it. Hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions or have any suggestions for me, you can always do the comment and we can have some chit chat in the comment section too. Yeah, that's it. I'll see you in the next one. Take care of yourself and have fun. Bye.